Hello, I am Husky Light and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, first of all, thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your Google Pluses. Um, it all means so much to me. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate it. Um, quick introduction, really. Um, I've been doing, I've been on YouTube since December something like that and I think every month it's taken me a little bit of time to decide on my style of doing things, how I want to do things and getting into a rhythm with it. Um, and after doing last month's stars and doing a little introduction at the beginning, I'm sort of thinking I quite like doing this and I quite prefer to do it this way and then go into the stars um, and tell you a bit, a little bit about the astrology, not a lot because I'm not an astrologist. But just say a little bit about it and what's going on and a little catch up and we can go into the stars then and um, plus i've got you as a captive audience <laughs> if you don't like it you have to physically skip this bit to get to your stars sorry um so to start off with um i hope you all had um, a great april um we have got in may we've got no more solar eclipses no more lunar eclipses thank goodness until september uh, it is the next partial solar eclipse, I think. Um, so until then, we've got no more of that. So I think May, in general, may be a little bit quieter than April. Was um, There was a lot of changes in April due to the eclipses. Even if you physically didn't have changes to go through, I think a lot of us internally had changes. I think a lot of us internally had um, different ways of looking things at things. I think our perspectives changed in a lot of ways, our feelings changed, our situations changed, um, and, and yeah, on an internal basis, even if it wasn't seen on um, a physical, external basis, I think a lot of things did change, and a lot, a lot of things are still changing and still in the process of changing, so let me get my notes. <laughs> uh, this month, we've got our full moon on May the 4th. Now, I am not an astrologist. I will talk about the full moon and the new moon simply because I love the law of attraction. Um, I love to manifest things. I'm a co-creator. Um, so what I will do is talk about when those are. And so uh, May the 4th is our full moon, which is great. So hopefully things that we put into set our intentions with the new moon in April will start to come to the fore. For this full moon now if you set new intentions in april um and they haven't come through yet and they haven't happened yet don't give up don't go oh god it didn't work i'm not bothering with that again this month do it again do it every month this is not a, a fly by night i'm going to try it for 10 minutes and if it doesn't work that's it um law of attraction manifestation co-creation is all about you being positive and wanting the things that you want and thinking about the things that you want and putting the right intentions behind them um so if it doesn't if, if you can't see it coming through this month try it again it might be that you've got some sort of deep internal block um that is stopping it coming through it might be it might be some huge thing that you you want to manifest like a new house or a car or um and you think you can't do it because it's just too big uh, and it's going to take longer well set your intentions again um, on the new moon this, this month. Now, your next new moon is on the 18th of May. So that is the day um, that you want to put 20, 30 minutes aside and just do your new intentions. And if you want to make them the same as last month, the intentions that you set out last month because they all haven't come through yet and you still want them and you still desire them, go for it, put them down again. Um, the 17 second rule, you think about it every day for at least 17 seconds to get the ball rolling, to get the momentum going and to get you wanting it and for it to manifest. So don't give up after one month, please don't. Um, what else is happening during this month? We've got Mercury going into retrograde actually on the 18th, which is also our new moon and it's going to stay retrograde until June the 11th. Um, we know that when Mercury grows retrograde, it starts to bring up old emotions, situations. We start going backwards, um, which is a real pain at times. Um, but this month, if it starts to bring up emotions that we've tried to hide, 
old stuff that starts bubbling up to the surface again this month, deal with it. Deal with it so we can get rid of it for good this time. If it's bubbling up again, it's something that we need um, to deal with. It gives us a great opportunity actually um, to, to feel the feelings that are coming up, to feel the fear around these emotions that might be coming up. You're thinking, why am I feeling this again? I thought I got rid of it. Try and get to the root of it. Try and find out exactly why you're feeling it again. Get it sorted, get it fixed, get rid of it. And this is what Mercury Retrograde does and this is why it likes to come up every so often, even though we don't like it coming up <laughs> that often. Um, it will be a lot of buried things that we've tried to bury, but you know what happens, they always come back up to haunt us if, if we try and hide them. So that's that. Um, what else? Not a lot else really. Um, regarding that, we've just got, we've got the full moon on the four, so things from last month hopefully should manifest. New moon is when you set your intentions again um, on the 18th. Now setting intentions, and I'm not gonna go into much into spells and stuff at this time but law of attraction setting your intentions and everything is almost the same as making a spell uh, producing a spell a magic spell it's just that when you use a spell you are using props you're using candles and incense and and things like that and um a parchment paper wax all that sort of thing and what you're doing is you're basically doing the same thing as setting your intentions up, but you're putting it into a spell, so you're using props for it. So in a way, it might actually help some of you to manifest something. It might help some of you produce something because you're using props, so you make it stronger and you make your intention stronger by doing it as a spell as opposed to setting your intentions and doing it as the law of attraction. So they are very, very similar. And some of you might go, oh, I don't like spells and that's not good. I'm not getting involved in that. But in a way, it is just a different way of manifesting things. Um, so for some of you, if you're not having much luck in setting your intentions and writing them down, then maybe a simple spell on the new moon. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that's something else to different to go into. So... I've done my astrology bit, I've talked about the new moons, I've talked about Mercury in retrograde and I'm going to jump into your uh, stars for May 2015. If you would like a personal in-depth reading from me, um, it would be so wonderful for you. Um, it's very in-depth, it's very good, You can. there's different ways of doing it, you can get a one question, you can get a diamond spread, you can get a full reading. If you go off to my website and have a quick look on there, um, if you want to email it, me, it's info at huskylight.com. My website is huskylight.com. Have a look. Have a look at the uh, readings and gifts page. I've also started doing dream reports as well. I've decided to start pulling in my resources um, from all my years of experience and all my years of, of, of um, being esoteric, um, and, and my stars and my spells and, and my dream uh, things that I've done for absolute years as as a hobby um, or slightly more as a hobby and concentrated on quite well over the years that I know sort of backwards and inside out and upside down so I'm starting to pull them all in a little bit now um, and get them up so if you'd like to go and have a look at the website um, go and pick yourself a reading um, it doesn't have to be one of the expensive ones we've got the full readings right down to the cheaper ones for just one question um, and I say I've got also got the dream reports as well dreams are really really important they're a really good way for your angels to get through to you they're trying to get a message through to you and you don't understand what they're saying um, they will keep knocking until you get it um, so maybe if you've got something like that going on drop me a line um, and I'll help you out with that and get a full report together for you right thank you very much for listening to me go on and on and on and it's time for your stars. Okay, so take care, namaste. So here's the reading for Aquarius, May 2015. Apologies, my videos are starting to come out late now because I'm feeling ooky and yuck, and I may start to lose my voice some, 
some point through. I just did in the last one, but I'm uh, so apologies. Um, just bear with it. Right, um, we're starting off with the Six of Wands in reverse. It's a really good card, even if it's in reverse. I think despite any delays, challenges, blockages that um, seem to have been holding you back, for a lot of you, I feel that you can now move forward. It's not a, it's not a time to let fear hold you back. Don't be scared of anything. Be careful of who you're placing your trust in. Um, whether that's, and you know what, that can apply to general work, love, family, um, any sort of situation, just be extra uh, careful about who you place your trust in, especially if it's a new person. I've got a feeling that you may have somebody, somebody who may look like they're on your side, but they've got some jealous negative traits within them um, towards you. Aquarius, though, you're really good at picking up on stuff like that, so go with your gut instinct. This does not apply to all of you. It's a general reading. But if you get that feeling, if you get that gut instinct that maybe there is someone around you, and, and it could be, let's say, it could be any situation. I sort of feel like it's work, actually. Um, and obviously, Jeannie, my husky, has just completely agreed that it may be a work situation. Um... If you're be, if you're be, if some of you, not all of you, but you'll know who I'm talking to, um, if some of you are being dishonest at work for some reason, um, need needs to stop before you get found out. But for the rest of you, it is somebody around you that may be a little bit untrustworthy. So just watch out. Um, for them as they go with your gut instinct because you know um, how you feel you're very good uh, you're a water sign you're very good at uh, feeling out um, other people for those of you who are single right I am going I'm going to say this to all Aquariuses and I hope that it doesn't apply to all of you but for those that it does apply to, stop believing yourself that you're not worthy sometimes of love. That you've got bad self-esteem, you, your confidence is low. Stop it now because you are totally, totally worth it and gorgeous and beautiful. All of you, every single last one of you on the inside. So stop that. Whoever's doing that, whoever feels like that on the inside, stop it. Because I'm being told really strong. Um, you need to stop that. You are gorgeous. You are special. You are amazing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right. I'll get off my soapbox now. I've said my little piece. Believe in yourself. That came up really strongly from uh, my angels then. With regards to money, around the six of, of ones in reverse, um, you, it just means you need to be a bit more detailed and methodical. You need to keep, pay more attention uh, to things like what's what's coming in, what's going out, your bank statements, make sure your receipts are right, make sure you've not been overcharged for anything. Um, for some of you, you might actually come across something or realise that you're owed a bit of money from somewhere. That'd be cool. That'd be really good. Let me know on that one. Um, but for the rest of you, just keep a, keep more of an eye on it than you usually do. And... Um, Remember, do you know what? Remember that you've got some of the answers inside you. They're not always on the outside. Don't always look for answers on the outside because you know that a lot of them are on the, the inside. Now we've got the page of wands in reverse. Now it sometimes for me indicates maybe a female who is younger than yourself or it could be you yourself usually if it's a page it's some sort of message um that's coming through somebody what blockages are you putting up in front of yourself at the moment in work wise 
for some of you, I feel that's what you're doing. It's like you're putting your own blocks in front of you so you can't go forward. Nobody else has put them there. You've done it yourself, though. Um, but I don't know why. It's, it's like you're a little bit... You know, I said before, don't be letting fear hold you back because you need to be going forward and you are going forward. For some of you, for some of you, there is a bit of fear and you are letting it hold you back. You've got, I've got a, you know, sort of 50-50 split here. So don't let that happen. Don't get too serious too quickly if you're in a new relationship. Don't push it. Um, get to know each other slowly. Take your time. Be patient. Slowly, slowly. Catch a monkey. That's, that's the way to go with it. Don't listen to gossip as well. Um, whether you're in a long-term relationship or it's a new relationship that you've got into. Um, but if there's some gossip surrounding it, don't listen to them. Make your own mind up. Um, you're big enough and ugly enough to, to, to make your own mind up about it. Don't be listening to other people. Don't listen to gossip. Gossip is no good whatsoever for anybody. Um, we've got the King of Coins. King of Coins is upright as well. It probably looks in reverse to you, but he's not. To me, he's, he's upright. Very traditional speaks a lot about authority. Um, a lot of you are going to have some success in Money Matters this month. Don't do anything different. Don't do, because um, he's, he's traditional. King of Coins is traditionally like tradition. Mm. He doesn't want anything doing any differently. Um, now, some of you might find some money tucked away somewhere, like I said. Um, others, For others, at some point, during the month, you will start to see that money matters are going better for you. If it's a work situation, I feel that he's either somebody who's physically around you, and he's, he might be quick to pass judgment on some people. He's he's not an he's not an unfair man, but he's. Um, somewhat quick to, yeah, he, he, he can jump in and pass judgment on people without really knowing all the circumstances. I mean, he Maybe he's a bit of a gossiper. He, he will come out and say things without really thinking sometimes and this is where you've got to pay attention to your details and paperwork as well. So this is around money matters, but it could be a work thing as well. It may be that maybe that somebody else has made a mistake on paper somewhere, but unless it's seen, it might you might get the the flack for it. So just be aware of that. It's not for all of you. I'm picking up that for definitely for some of you. Right. In, um, I feel for some of you in a long-term relationship, you need to speak your mind more because you're not and you need to be more honest with them. You think that they can read your mind. They think that they, they're not psychic. They can't read your mind. They can't tell, they can't tell what's going on if you don't talk to them. Um, you need to be more vocal like my husky. And you need to you need to talk to them. You need to be a little bit more open with them. I think some of you are expecting them to to notice that there's something wrong. Um, but unless you say something, they won't notice. Um, they'll just carry on, and they won't quite notice what's going on. They won't notice you're upset or that you've got a problem for some of you. So you do need to speak up. It's all about balance because it's joining up with the two of cups in reverse. Um, it's, it's about getting things um, into into a good balance between you. So if you're in um, a relationship, make sure that you're not completely only focused on the relationship. You have to focus on all aspects of your life. Um, if you're looking for love, make sure that's not exclusively all you're doing is just looking for love. You need to concentrate again on other areas as well. It's all about yin and yang and balance and um,
being uh, fair as well. Now I mentioned this guy in work before um, and it could be in a work situation as well with the, the two of cups. There's some sort of undercurrent, there's some sort of unpleasant feelings going on somewhere um, because this is a theme that's, you know, looking at the last two cards as well, it's a bit of a theme that's running through. So whether it's work, love, family, there is a little bit of an undercurrent of something dodgy, <laughs> something not quite right um, in the undercurrent of your your reading. Um, so just be aware of that. And as I say, you, you're really intuitive. Go with your gut instinct. You know... Um, whether this is true or not, you can tell you're, you're good. Because we've got the Seven of Swords and he's in the upright position and it always means two different things. Um, I've got the meaning for some of you that somebody is acting around you with less than ethical intentions. Whether they're prying into somebody's life, whether they're being um, they're sticking the nose in where it's not wanted, Or whether it's um, some sort of cheating going on in a work situation or a love relationship or something. Now, I'm, when I say, right, I'm back up on this one. When I say cheating, it could be anything. It could be anything from... Um, somebody nicking a packet of post-it notes from work, from the office. Um, and cheating in that way right up to the other side of the spectrum with a serious uh, somebody's having an affair yeah or and anywhere in between it's something that's just not not quite right make sure you've got your own side covered um, and if this is you stop it and if you know this is somebody else just make sure you've got yourself covered don't get yourself into trouble for things that you've not done Don't get involved in the gossip at work. Don't get involved in that way you could get um, pointed at, the finger pointed at, so just be really, really careful about that. Don't jump to conclusions if it's a love relationship, and I feel for a couple of you it may be, but don't jump to conclusions. Make sure you've got solid evidence first and your messages are clear and there is clear communication between you. Now I also feel for a lot of you <clears throat> that this is not somebody who is in your life who's a bit dodgy, a bit way. Um, I feel that it's you getting something back that you've lost, retrieving something of yours um, which had been taken away from you but which you are getting back now. And when I say that I usually refer to it I usually, dogs are off on one, I usually refer to it in a way of maybe um, you've lost some trust, self-esteem, confidence and things like that and suddenly you, you're beginning to, to feel better about yourself, you're beginning to get that feeling back, you're beginning to regain your trust in humanity, in the world, you're beginning to regain trust, uh, confidence, sorry, in yourself, you're beginning to love yourself again, it's something that because you can see him climbing through the window because um, he's left some swords in there. He's like, oh, I forgot those. I'm not going without them. I'm coming back in for them. It's something that was taken from you and you feel like you're getting it back on an internal level. Um, so that's really, really good. For the ones that, that, that means you're getting through your emotions and you're working through them and you're doing really well with it. So that, that's, that's brilliant. I love you for that one. And don't go any, out with anyone just for the sake of it, some of you. Don't go out with someone just because you're bored. Oh, there's nobody else on offer. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But for some of you, I think there is a couple of you out there. Just don't do not do it. It's not fair. Um, if, you, if you're not really bothered about being with somebody, don't be with them. Right, I'm, I'm finishing off with the Seven of Swords. In the upright position. And again... Um, we've we've got this we've got this dodgy thing, and this just runs throughout the whole 
thing, doesn't it? Um, now the Queen, Queen of Swords, she is is really um, she's very analytical. She's uh, she can cut, <laughs> she can cut through things with her mind. Very very analytical. Uses her brain over her heart. Uses her mind over her, her heart. Prefers to do it that way. Um, and I think it says for some of you. Um, if this somebody, if this is somebody physical in your world. She'll have dark hair um, and dark eyes, or at least dark hair. I uh, don't mess about with her. <laughs> um, she is not to be trifled with at all. She is a very, very strong woman. If this woman is in your life at the moment, don't mess about. If this is you, if you need to have these traits, there is a, a certain situation that will come up during the month that you need to put your foot down with. Your instincts are serving you really well. I told you your intuition is good and it is doing really well for you this month. Um, don't be over forceful though. The queen can be a little bit over forceful sometimes. And because she's working with her mind, because she's just cutting through things like a sword, um, through emotions, through thoughts. Um, just, just be careful not to upset anybody too much. And don't overreact too much to situations either this month. Don't be throwing a strap and going off on one with anything. Be nice. Um, if you've got suspicions, if there's something dodgy going on that's under the current somewhere and you need to do a bit of investigative work, she will come in really well. She's all with the mind. She can do the digging really well for you. Uh, use her. Use, use her, her mind power. She's she she's uh, very very intelligent, so make use of her intelligence. Don't um, if you are gonna if there is a suspicion about somebody, you're not gonna come out and say it. You're not gonna accuse anyone. You're not gonna point the finger at anybody. You are gonna be very intelligent about it, and you're just gonna go under the surface a bit and find out what's going on, and you'll you will know how to deal with it once you've got the facts and figures and and you've got it straight you have to have it straight in your own mind um before you come out with anything that's what that's what the this card is saying in this situation that you have to be sure about it first and you will be and it doesn't apply to all of you i say a lot i think a lot of you are, are finding that by the end of may um, your self-esteem, your self-confidence will be a lot better, especially because I told you off at the beginning of the <laughs> of your reading. So you're going to be absolutely fine, okay? And I really hope you enjoy. I'm going to lose my voice in a minute, so I'm going to get off. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. I, I love you loads. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I've said all this at the beginning. And if you'd like a reading, just just yeah, all the details are below. Um, so namaste and I will speak to you um, very soon. Bye.